Good morning and welcome to my mess. I've done a little bit of cleaning and I'll tell you what I won't be growing those um, cornflowers again because this is what happens and I'm not too sure what those are they've self-seeded themselves in the middle there um, I can't think of the name now which is pretty typical when I get on onto doing a video um, anyway there was a plant there and I really can't remember the name of it it's very annoying but anyway it doesn't matter my dahlias need to be chopped down which I'll probably do later already cleaned up at this end and I'm not sure if these are weeds or plants anyway I thought I'd leave them because I scattered seeds Nigella that was it Nigella so we'll see if that's what they end up being <sighs> everywhere cornflowers so there's some ridonculus coming up which I didn't pull out I pulled out a couple hundred but there was still some in the ground that I actually couldn't find but they came back so that's really good there's about probably 50 of them coming up along here and I've still got a hundred in a box somewhere that I have to sort out and stick in the ground this is a pretty one I like that one anyway all these are going to be chopped later and I'll be leaving them in the ground the dahlias because they seem to do okay here they're in a raised bed so they should be right more mess hubby's gonna cut the grass later so you can just go over it and carnations with rotten straw flowers coming up in between them anyway I really hope that these little seedlings are all nigella because if they're not well I have to pull them all out and if they are I've got free flowers so this bed I started cleaning up a little bit here and I'm not sure what these are the leaves look like dahlias maybe the dahlias are self-seeded um, I did scatter some uh, what do you call them snapdragons around the place but I don't think they're snapdragons the leaves aren't right hmm. that could be a snapdragon that little one there maybe maybe those ones but anyway we'll soon find out what these ones are not sure what I'm going to do with them if they are dahlias and this is what happens when you grow cosmos you end up with thousands of them so I'll pull them out I'll be doing this later I'll just pull them out millions of seeds anyway I'll uh, keep a few in this patch these are finished now but there'll be babies coming up oh, they already are so I shall keep a few of those and let them grow here because I've got this little bit of fencing that can keep them contained the tops of them anyway the seeds just go nuts so before you plant uh, what are they called can't think now they're not zinnias cosmos I always mix up cosmos and zinnias before you plant cosmos this is what you're going to end up with if you don't constantly deadhead them so these are coming out they're done for they did pretty good though they gave me lots of nice flowers 
And this netting, I won't be wasting my money on it again. It lasts a season and then it just falls to bits. So I'll be putting wire, nice strong wire where I need it. And I don't need it everywhere. So I won't be needing very much of it. These are self-seeded. Um, they're stock. But they're the ones that, um, they're just singles. But they still give off a nice, nice perfume. So I kept a couple. Yeah, this is what happens to this netting. Total waste of money. So I've got a roll of nice wire that my husband can set up for me when I, when I need it. And I've done a bit of weeding. It's empty, but the weeds still come. So the top bed up there is just going to be for potatoes because I can actually grow them up there. And the second one, I'm not too sure what's going in there. Um, perennials? Yep, yeah, perennials. They're the ones that come back. So I'll be putting perennials in there. And I have got some dead looking sticks in here. It's a type of salvia. They're not dead. See? I saved them from the other garden. They're growing. I think that's a blue one. And there's a little bit of pineapple sage, which I rescued. It'll do okay in here. Looks a bit ratty at the moment. And more salvias. Looking a bit dead. But they're not. They'll come up from the bottom. And these are a, a pretty pink and white one. They get once they become healthy, which they will, they'll be covered in these little flowers. So at the moment I'm just weeding it because the weeds just take over. Anyway, I'll pause. I'm back. I just went for a little walk around the yard up to the front of the house and this is my little herb bed. My son, whoops, sorry, my son bought the bed for me and hubby gave me a voucher. So that's what it ended up being. There's lettuce in there but they're only short term. Once the herbs grow there won't be room for anything else. And the little lights around the edges, they just help keep the possums away. So I found that at the other house. If I put some lights near where I didn't want the possums, they stayed away. So over here, I just want to show you, I'm so proud of this. This was a dead stick, or close to dead. It's a red flowering um, hibiscus, and it's doing really well. So we put it into a baseless planter we chopped the bottom out of the pot and it's really happy now so I'm happy because I love hibiscus and this one seems to be doing okay here so I'm happy okay I'm going I hope you all had a nice Mother's Day which was a couple of days ago now and because today is uh, Wednesday morning uh, what was it three days ago so I had a nice quiet one and uh, now I'm going to go in and have my cup of tea. All right, you all have a good day. Bye.